Today on Trailer Reaction Videos, Matthew says... Hello, I'm Matthew Bielamont. Welcome to another Trailer Reaction Videos. And let me tell you something, what's been a bother. Winnie the Pooh has entered the public domain. But, uh... Not uh, all the characters. And the... Now someone made an idea to do a low-budget horror movie that's in the style of a slasher film called Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Blood and Honey. Like blood and guts, but milk and honey. Blood and honey. Let me tell you... What were they thinking when they made this movie? I don't hear stuff like, oh, it's just... Art. No, it's not art, it's trash. It's like calling jail a room. Imagine you're going to jail and you, for, and you get under arrest and you're like, oh no, I'm going to jail. Oh, relax, it's just a room. See? It's like that. You're emotionally devastated, but, and someone tries to be helpful with their words of advice, but no, it's no help at all. So, yeah. A horror film based on Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And let me tell you, the trailer came out and... I know... What's it gonna be like? I'll bring out my comments. The beloved childhood characters. Christopher, we need to leave now. I really need to find out what's happening, okay? I've been abandoned by Christopher Robin. <laughs> and have turned wild. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. So there you have it. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And let me describe this, uh, shop. Let me describe this film. This film is a public domain nightmare. I mean, just because something of cute and childish proportions, something that's family friendly and innocent, gets to be given a horrific makeover because it fell into the public domain and someone decided to make a movie out of it. I know that's trying to capitalize on success like Willy's Wonderland, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, or the Banana Splits movie where they take something from our childhood or a throwback to our childhood and turn it into this hideous mess. And now, Winnie the Pooh is, oh my gosh, it is now, well, public domain, anyone can do it. And let me just say that uh, other filmmakers out there, they're going to see, oh, oh, let's make our own Winnie the Pooh picture. Another Winnie the Pooh horror film, or another Winnie the Pooh drama, or a comedy with an appearance by Winnie the Pooh. 
I mean, because the character is in the public domain and anyone could use it. And now, next year there's been talks of Mickey Mouse entering the public domain. I mean, it's 95 years and we don't want something like that to happen, so something's got to be done about that. So maybe if we can just increase the years, because when Mickey enters the public domain, God forbid, what's going to happen was that they're going to make other versions of Mickey Mouse, horror, comedy, uh, drama, and all these sort of things, and this is just not right. This is just wrong in some sort of directions. People need to make money. So, yes. There you have it. Winnie the Pooh. Blood and Honey. And this is, I heard of Public Relations Nightmare, but Public Domain Nightmare? Hmm. Sounds like a name of a rock band. And the song played in the trailer, Brahms Lullaby. I mean, it's kind of give this dark and creepy and unsettling look to it. And I, for one, am disgusted by it. And it's kind of disturbing. This is Patricia Martinoli uh, territory right there. Yeah, that's his territory. So if you want to say, make a reaction video, hey, I already did it. So, this is Matthew Beelmont saying don't forget to like and subscribe, and, uh, uh, I'm just glad it's not someone like, I don't know, say, uh, uh, Steven Soderbergh, Yoel Bowl, or Michael Bay. Tune in next time when Matthew says... <laughs>Trailer Reaction Videos gets its power from Matthew B. Lamont's Productions. This is WMBL Channel 9 somewhere. What? Can't I do a parody?